what's up what's up so today is probably the final day not the final day but today's the last day i'm going to be doing any like major prep other than like maybe cleaning the interior stuff like that so today basically the spray paint came out terribly not blaming the spray paint i'm only half blaming the spray paint because it's just not as good. I sprayed the Rust-Oleum out of like a gun and it came out, you know, decent. It was at least shiny. This is like dull and like super orange peel looking. So what I'm gonna do is first, process of elimination. First, I'm gonna try to buff it. If it looks kind of like the rest of the car, that's good. If not, if that doesn't work, I'm gonna try to wet sand it with like 1,000 or 1,200 and then buff it. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna go get crystal clear Rust-Oleum clear coat sprayed over that and uh, just leave it. I don't really care that much about it, but I keep saying I don't care, but low key, I kinda care. So I'm gonna get to doing that, but first, gotta sweep up all this. What's up, Chris? Your boy Shreves just showed up. OEM. Ooh. What's that one? Is that the side thing? Chain tension, yeah. Did you get that bolt out? No, not yet. Nope, but that's the next thing. I'm gonna take that out. I'll take the oil Vice feed. grip the shit out of it. I'll take that banjo bolt out, and then we'll take them both. Oh, dude, Don has two washers for you. No way. Yeah, literally on his, like, uh, we gotta go down to Jimmy's shop at some point because I, I was gonna take them, but I knew I was gonna lose them. Cool. I knew I was gonna fucking lose them, but I literally found two of them. They're on Don's toolbox at both copper washers. But. Now that this is clean, I can pull this in and destank my section because the gloss is no good and I want to be half good. Just half good. I don't care about body work. Everybody look. Everybody look how shitty. I sand it. I sanded it once. That's it. Look at that. There's still 36 grit in there, but I don't give a f but I do care about the gloss. It's got to be a little bit more shiny. First things first. Boom. Buff boys. And I'll use the coarse pad. And I'm going to try to blend right here. You guys can definitely see that. Where it goes from like half okay to like... I'm going to blend that right there. I'm going to try it with the buffer. And if that doesn't work, I got to use clear coat. What happens? Wow, I'm buy super glue. This shit is... Oh, super glue sucks, dude. What the hell are you using it for? Um, this little nozzle on here that connects the blow off, like, kind of fell off. So. Super glue back on. No, super glue is the worst. Yeah. Oh, you could tell. All right, so see that like little line right there? That's like where the paint meets. So I'm gonna try to wet sand just this area and blend it because like here and here looks similar. Obviously this looks way better. And this looks like shit. But at least this is like half shiny now. But I gotta, I'm gonna try to wet sand this. So I buffed the spray paint off of it. This is good. Now I'm gonna open my whole door and do it again and see how that uh, junk comes out. I will now show you Travis's accomplishment. DIY a throttle cable bracket. Ooh. I think he's good. Yeah, should work. Just drill the holes and then trim it? Yep. Hey. Travis out here learning custom fab by on his own, bugging out. I'm over here buffing this piece. I mean, it's, it's looking pretty good on like the doors. Obviously, it's look like dookie, but I mean, it matches better than it did before. But everything else, like, if you guys ever paint your car with like the $36 gallon or whatever, the Rust-Oleum gallon and you buff it, the shit comes to life. Like, look at this. This shit looks good. Look at the reflection. Ooh. 
Well, back to work on the other side. Out here, Travis is about to rob Jimmy. I don't know about who's. Look at this. Look at this almost Jimmy over here, dude. Who's this? About to, about to, about to post and come through. Que pasa, ese? Damn. What do you want? I don't know. Travis is here to rob you. No, More stuff? No, Don. I just came for along <laughs> for the ride because I want Subway from Walmart, but he's here to rob you. Not, not robbing Jimmy. You said Don has copper washers. He said he wanted to come see Jimmy. I then said Don has copper washers. That are in my bay. <laughs> <laughs> it was open, man. Hey, everyone in the comments. Damn. Go down in the comments. What the fuck? Tell Don to change the damn hookah water. Tell Don to Shit. stop smoking hookah. Nah, tell Don to change the hookah water. It look like apple juice, dude. Nah, I don't smoke. Just quit altogether. I doubt it, but... Look at that. Look at this fuse box, dude. <laughs> look at this body Oh, harness. look at this cute little fucking battery. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Yeah. I think he got the ECU going, too. Oh, right here, dude. Dude. Where is he? We're starting it tonight. Oh, bet. I think those are the ones. They, they look like they're the same size. Right. These so are the ones. Hopefully they fit. And no leak napping. So, so is that the therapist tonight? I don't know. I don't. I don't even think he's coming here tonight. What the? You're telling me he got the ECU, got fluid? No, 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 no. No, he doesn't have the ECU. Oh no. Hello. We must go to Home Depot. Thank you, Donovan. Go sub to my boy's channel. Yeah. Travis plugs them for me. I didn't even have to plug Don in this one. Travis got it. But now Travis has the right pipe for yep. his intake thing. Probably have to modify it a little bit. Wow, you can't see nothing, dude. Wow. Okay, hello again. So where are we going? Walmart? Yeah, I need to uh, replace the oil that I lost the other day. You're going to get some super tech? Uh, <laughs> I mean... It's breaking oil, dude. I mean, I need, I, I need conventional, so... Oh, no, no, no synthetic for breaking. Right. But, so, Walmart for that. I'm going to cop some Subway. Sorry, I know you guys don't like me talking slang. I'm going to acquire a sandwich from the brand restaurant Subway fast food because I want it. Yes. In search of sponsors, uh, preferably Lowe's, uh, Scott Shop Towels, Purple Power, Rust Oleum. What, what else do you think? Um, Cosmos. <laughs> Cosworth. Cosworth, definitely. Royal purple. Nah. What do you mean? Back at the shop now. Been working on getting, yes, this is overspray. And this is not overspray. Overspray, not overspray. So I've just been using this razor to de-overspray all my windows so my shit doesn't look super jank. But Travis is about to, uh, you're probably gonna have to cut that, that, uh, Piping. Oh, definitely. But shouldn't be too hard. We got the saw. So I forgot to say because I have a pounding headache. Also ended up doing my uh, alignment in the front. Alignment. Just kind of eyeballed it. But when you lower Subarus, they tend to tow out in the front. So you got to just compensate that with uh, just tie rod length. And uh, this door needs to needs to chill out. Got to put the freaking wood on the other side of it. But let's check out what Travis got going on. So Travis made the uh, intake pipe. It's mint now. Yeah, it's good now. Again, shout out to Don. Uh, you're maxed out, guy. Yeah, that might not fit. If you guys ever 
wondered how to get your springs to settle really fast, you just raise it up about right there and you just fuck it. And it's good. You don't gotta drive around or nothing. You can do it from higher if you choose, but look at this. Look at this Rust-Oleum reflection. Freaking not bad. Come see it at the damn Yukon show. I'll be parking this piece of shit in a field for all the stance kids to spectate and bug out and be like, wow, whose fucking piece is this? And I'm gonna be like, mine, dude, that's my piece. This shit cost me like altogether a grand. And I still did more than these damn stance kids, boy. <laughs> Comment below if you guys are tight when you see a stance kid be like, oh, bro, I got wheels, bro. You can't know what they are, but just wait until spring, bro. Like, like this stance, I'm gonna make a meme, dude. I'm gonna make a legit meme. It's gonna be like, <laughs> like, yo, I'm coming out hard for the season. Yo, what's your, what's your build this year, bro? And it's just gonna be like wheels, a box with a check, and that's it. <laughs> New wheels, a box, check, done. Uh, life must be easy for these guys. But, come on. I'm proud of this fucking piece, dude. I'm gonna overlay a picture of how fucking ugly it was before. Now you guys see. Now it's good. Now this one is good. Or I wouldn't say it's good, but you know, it's up to my standards of daily ability. Sounds decent, looks okay. That's all I care about. Now has wheel arches. Now equipped with wheel arches on both sides. Wheel arch equipped, legit. Right, what's we, what's we finna do? Oil. No. Just start it now. Oh. Start it now. You control it with the gas now. I can. Yeah. So you know, try to keep it running. Yeah, you know, dude, you know how much oil just came out of this thing? Really? The same thing that you just put a gasket on. No! Like spewing out of the top of it. This fucking chain tensioner still? Dude, spewing. Why? You wanna rewatch this video and be like, yo, this is junk. Dude, I'm afraid of tightening those tendons. I wonder, I, you know what, dude? I wonder if that bolt is too long. Uh, that bolt could be too long. Alright, let's, let's take it out and put it different. So I got another 10 mil bolt that is actually the size of the original stud that was in there. Uh, did you, oh, you didn't take that bolt out? No, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll, we'll compare like the size difference. I think I think it, it just it's it way too long. It definitely is. It was just bottoming out on the threads, but we'll compare it. We dropped the bolt, but you get you get the point. It was it was it was like two times as long as the one that we just put in. So. I think that's tight. It's still leaking from the banjo bolt like pretty bad. I don't know. So the washers that we got from uh, Don were actually too big, so we renounced this shout out actually. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, not really, but if you can see right down there, those two copper ones, they're too big. So we need to get the OEM ones from Nissan, but that's okay because our buddy works at Nissan. Yeah. And uh... Go ahead, give it a little test. You want to tell me if it's tight enough? Uh, These 10 mils are so fragile. Yeah, that's that's about all I would go. Alright, that, that was that was pretty If it hard. leaks now, we gotta sell the car. Chill out, dude. <laughs> Don't be so negative. Alright, well this is probably the last one before I lose too much oil. Yeah, true. Last 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 attempt at startup. Oh boy. Let's see if it leaks. Hope it doesn't leak. It didn't leak. No. That was on its own? Right Let's fuck with the timing just a little bit. Yeah. Even though this thing is probably pissing. That's, I guess it doesn't mean it's bad, but it's not. There, I we, got, we got some life in the kitty litter underneath there. You know, <laughs> I could probably tighten that a little bit more, but Jimmy was telling me horror stories about having to helicoil the freaking... Yeah, you don't want to helicoil them, Johns, but... Dude, there was a stream, like that's not where it's leaking from. What do you mean? Dude, 
dude, I'm telling you, like, there was a stream like that thick coming out. He was like, like, uh, probably over there somewhere, dude. There's definitely, like, something that's not plugged at all. Like, there's supposed to be a bolt in something that there isn't. There's supposed to be a bolt in something? Dude, I'm telling you, this stream was, like, that thick. Oh, Like, you look on your car. I beg you to look on your car. Like, all of the oil is gone. Oh, fuck. Look at this, dude. Dude, I don't know what that is. Yo, somebody tell us. Somebody tell us what that was. What the chuck? Alright, well, that's it for this video. So, uh, later. Hope you guys liked it. Peace out.